Sterling silver has long been admired for its timeless beauty, durability, and versatility. From elegant jewelry pieces to intricate home decor, this precious metal has found its place in various aspects of our lives. But what exactly is sterling silver, and how is it made? In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the world of sterling silver, exploring its origins, production process, and why it continues to be a popular choice for artisans and collectors alike, right here on History of Simple Things. Silver has been cherished by civilizations for thousands of years. Ancient cultures, including the Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans, used silver for coins, jewelry, and decorative objects. The term sterling silver is believed to have originated in 12th century England when it was used in coinage. The word sterling may have come from the Old English word stirling, meaning little star possibly referring to early Norman silver coins that featured star-like designs. During the Middle Ages, sterling silver became the standard for English currency and was widely used for trade. By the 19th and 20th centuries, it had expanded beyond coinage to become a popular choice for fine jewelry, cutlery, and ornamental designs. Today, sterling silver is still highly valued, not just for its beauty, but also for its strength and resistance to tarnishing when properly cared for. Pure silver, while beautiful, is too soft for practical use in jewelry or household items. That's why it is often mixed with other metals to increase its durability. Sterling silver is an alloy composed of 92.5% pure silver and 7.5% other metals, usually copper. This blend enhances the metal's strength without compromising its luster or workability. The standard for sterling silver, 92.5% purity, has remained unchanged for centuries and is often marked with a 925 stamp to indicate its authenticity. The addition of copper not only strengthens the silver, but also helps it develop a unique patina over time, adding character to the pieces. Some modern variations incorporate other metals, such as zinc or platinum, to improve tarnish resistance, making sterling silver even more practical for everyday use. The creation of sterling silver involves several precise steps, combining traditional craftsmanship with modern techniques. The process begins with refining the silver, followed by alloying, shaping, and finishing. Let's break it down. Before sterling silver can be crafted, the silver must be purified. Silver is often mined from the earth alongside other metals like lead, copper, and zinc. Through a series of chemical and electrolytic processes, pure silver is extracted from these ores. Once refined, it is melted down into bars or granules ready to be alloyed with other metals. To create sterling silver, the refined silver is melted together with 7.5% copper, or another metal, depending on the desired characteristics. This alloying process is carefully controlled to ensure the proper ratio, as even slight variations can affect the quality and strength of the final product. Once combined, the molten metal is poured into molds to form ingots or sheets, which can then be used for crafting. Once the alloy is formed, it is shaped using techniques like casting, where molten silver is poured into molds, and hammering, which forms artistic patterns. Engraving and stamping add decorative details, while filigree and wirework create intricate designs with twisted silver wires. These skilled methods produce sterling silver pieces that are both beautiful and timeless heirlooms. 
After shaping, the silver undergoes a polishing process to enhance its shine. Artisans use buffing wheels, hand polishing techniques, and sometimes even ultrasonic cleaners to remove any rough edges or imperfections. A protective coating may be applied to slow down tarnishing, keeping the piece looking new for longer. Some sterling silver pieces also undergo oxidation, a process that darkens certain areas to create contrast and highlight intricate details in designs. Sterling silver is a popular choice for jewelry, tableware, and decor due to its affordability, offering luxury at a lower price than pure silver or gold. Its durability makes it strong enough for daily wear, while its versatility suits both classic and modern styles. It's also hypoallergenic, making it safe for sensitive skin and increasingly sustainable, as many jewelers now use recycled sterling silver. Sterling silver can tarnish over time due to exposure to air and moisture but proper care keeps it looking pristine. Regular cleaning with a soft cloth or polish removes tarnish, while proper storage in anti-tarnish pouches prevents oxidation. Sterling silver is more than just a beautiful metal. It's a blend of history, craftsmanship, and practicality. From its origins in ancient civilizations to its continued popularity today, Sterling silver has proven its worth time and time again. Whether you're investing in fine jewelry, collecting vintage pieces, or simply appreciating its artistry, understanding how sterling silver is made and how to care for it enhances its value in our lives. So next time you wear your favorite sterling silver piece, remember the journey it took from deep within the earth to the skilled hands of artisans before it became the treasured item you now own. Each detail reflects craftsmanship, history, and timeless beauty, making it more than just an accessory, but a piece of art with a story to tell. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.